Hey everybody, happy Saturday night. Uh, it is dumping snow outside here in Boston. So I'm really excited for tonight. I mean, what a better way to spend uh, on a snow night <laughs> than to talk some makeup. I'm gonna go over um, some ways to match your eyeshadow to your eye color. I'm really excited to go over all this. I have all my homework done. I got lots of products down here to show you. Hello, Christine. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. I'm excited. I mean, we're talking, we're getting real basic tonight and we're gonna like talk color wheel, okay? So just like when you were in uh, elementary school and you went over the color wheel and it, I don't know if anybody else did, but I remember in my elementary school, I had, um, I had my, our teacher had this like little puppet and his name was Roy Jabev. Like, did anybody else have Roy Jabev? It was like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Um, thank you, Tammy. Got new do going on tonight. Uh, hey, Conley. So, um, we're going to go over that. So, um, we have three different types of shadows that I'm going to go over tonight. I'm going to go over a cream shadow, a pigment shadow, and then also a palette. So, we have a few options for you to look into. Uh, I am a Black Status presenter with Unique. My name's Kelly Rose Sarno. All of the products that you see here are available on my website. My link is posted in the description of this video. If you were invited here by another presenter, then you can connect with your other Unique presenter um, and you can purchase through them. But really, we're just here for kind of some product knowledge. I get asked very frequently during my live video feeds, uh, what color is good for blue eyes? What color is good for green eyes? What color is good for brown eyes? So I uh, did a little homework and I thought that, <laughs> thanks Jill, I thought that I would um, give you kind of like a quick lesson. Then I'm gonna show you your options, uh, talk a little bit about your application and you know, your textures, your finishes, things like that. And then how to complement some colors as well. So I am armed and dangerous tonight with a lot of shadows here. I also uh, have my little uh, catalog if you need anything. Um, and then we're also going to talk about our color wheel, okay? So feel free to share this video because when you share this video, that helps me spread my business. Um, but it's also just going to be like a kind of like a little fun educational video. Thanks, Sarah. I put white on tonight because it like really is going to show the true colors um, that we have tonight. Okay. So um, first and foremost, when it comes to using eye products, the number one thing that I always have to have, um, I'm lying, the two things that I always have to have is um, a good eye primer and some good brushes. So I'm gonna be using the ones from my website. Um, so this is the Unique Eye Primer. And then these are the Unique Eye Brushes. So I'm gonna show you the importance of primer, why it makes a difference, um, and it really just helps with like all of that pigment payoff, okay? So um, that's what we're getting into tonight. I wonder if you guys are um, snowed in. So if you're snowed in, click on the thumbs up. If you're not snowed in, click on the hearts because that's like way cooler. Um, I just got to put you back, miss this one. I've been so waiting to see the colors. So the good thing, um, yay, Whitney and Brittany are actually watching the video. Um, look at everybody snowed in tonight. So the good thing about this video, um, I will be posting it on YouTube at the end of this, so you'll always be able to reference it, but it is also here on my um, Facebook profile. If you share this video, it will go onto your uh, Facebook profile so that you can always kind of, you know, reference this. And there's a little drop down menu when it's over where you can save the video to your Facebook. Okay. So these are all things that will help you so that you can kind of go back and take notes. So if you want to grab a pen and paper, we're going to kind of go over it. We're not going to be here like super duper long, but yes, let's start with our color wheel. So, um, hello everyone. Hey, Sherry Wu and Vanessa. Hello. Everyone is snowed in. I've been waiting for you for hours. Sorry, Katrina. Um, okay, so uh, again, we are doing this live, so I'm going to be reading some of the comments uh, here and there. If I miss your comment, you can keep posting, uh, and I will answer them as best as I possibly can. So to start off tonight, I did a nice little neutral look. 
Um, Alicia, you so proud. <laughs> Tonight I did a nice little neutral look. Uh, I'm wearing Victorious Splurred Shadow on my lids. I am wearing um, Adorable Pigment in the Crease just for a little bit of dimension. I have um, our brand new Splurred Shadow in the color Proud as my eyeliner. My 3D Fiber Mascara and my lips tonight are Sentimental Liquid Lipstick with Plush Liner. And again, all of the products you're gonna see tonight are actually uh, on my website. The link is in the description box above, so you can click on that. If you are invited here by another unique presenter, then you can go ahead and shop from their links. Um, if presenters would just refrain from posting any links during the live video, I think we're gonna be a-okay. All right, so let's talk about about our color wheel okay so this is your basics of learning what colors are going to complement your eye color the most so I have green eyes I have kind of a weird green eye where mine has a little bit of a yellow undertone to it and it also has some gold to it I'm gonna just um, zoom in for a second so that you can see that so I actually have some brown freckles in my eyes as well, um, and they're really green. So the outer is kind of like a really dark hunter green, and then the inner is like a regular green, and then really on the inside is kind of yellowish and gold. So what's really cool about having you know, multi-dimensional eyes is that you can kind of play with more colors. I do want to say this, when it comes to makeup, like don't stick to just what's complementary to your eye color. That's the beauty of makeup is you can just go and have fun and play with things. If you get compliments on it, keep rocking it. <laughs> and if someone's like, what are you doing? Then you can just stop wearing it. That's the beauty of makeup is you can just play and have fun and be adventurous, okay? It's so much fun to play with makeup. Do you need makeup? No, but it's seriously like the best ever to just throw on a face and feel super duper confident. confident. Okay, so we're gonna start with the color wheel. I thought we could start with the color green because that is um, the color of my eyes, okay? So I would say that I'm more in this like turquoise type green color. And basically all that you wanna do is you wanna go to the opposite side of the color wheel, okay? And that is how you find what is going to complement your eyes the most, okay? So from green, okay, we're gonna go from this green, we're gonna go straight across here, okay? So we're kind of in that purpley pink tone here that's gonna really, really pull out that awesome green, okay? So when you use purple, that's gonna be probably the most complimentary color to green. I love to wear purples with green eyes. Um, you can go as deep as like a hunter. You can actually go to like a really funky green. They're, uh, sorry, purple. So you have so much to work with in the green family, okay? So your green, you can come down to purple. You can also come into that red family as well. So purples, pinks, and reds are gonna be really beautiful with green eyes. Okay, now if you have blue eyes, this is what I love about blue eyes, is blue eyes, there's so many variations of blue eyes. My brother has like these, like blue as the crystal sky type blue eyes, and my husband has like a deep blue eye. My, um, my son has like a sapphire blue eye, so blue eyes are like my favorite. I feel like you can really get away with wearing most colors when it comes to blue, um, but you have a really big array when it comes to blue, okay? So you can come to the opposite side of the color wheel, and we're looking here, okay? But don't forget to come down here. These are like your earthy tones, okay? So these are really, really warm tones are gonna really pull out that blue eye, okay? So you can look at the oranges, you can look at the red, and the golds and the browns that's gonna be really super duper gorgeous for blue eyes okay now when it comes to blue eyes and I'm saying you know the oranges and the reds don't take that so literal okay you don't have to go buy red eyeshadow <laughs> you can use something that has like a red undertone to it okay and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more as I get into the colors that I have down here to show you okay um, so when you I would say, um, someone said, what about gray, green, blue eyes? Louisa, I would say that I am in the family of the gray, green, blue eye. So to me, that just means that you have like a more versatile eye color. So you can kind of play with all the colors that are complementary to those three eye tones, okay? So let's come up to here to the brown eye here, okay? So we're gonna go straight across the color wheel. And again, it's just gonna be opposite. 
when it comes to brown eyes, you're kind of lucky because you're in the middle of everything, okay? So brown eyes can really wear anything. I think that purple is super complimentary to brown eyes. Green is super complimentary to brown eyes. And you can also stay in that earthy tone. So you can do dark chocolates, you can do deep browns, you can do blacks, um, and you can also always remain neutral. Okay, so if you are new to wearing makeup, then you can stick with those neutral tones and you can just start to kind of build on those and start to do a little bit of maybe a crease color to really start to branch out and introduce a little bit of a pop of color to your life. So that is the color wheel. You can literally just go on Google and you can type in color wheel and this will pop up and just look for your color go across and that's the um, complimentary colors that you would wear for your eye tone okay so um, if you're new to my video tonight we're talking about eyeshadows that would complement your eye color in specific um, I'm a black status presenter with unique so all of the products that I'm about to show you can be found on my website and the link is up in the description box above there if you were invited here by another unique presenter then you can and also um, shop from their link as well and we're gonna get into actual colors so that I can show you um, two different ways to put together eye looks um, a few people are asking me what I'm wearing tonight tonight I'm wearing sentimental liquid lipstick from my website so this is like a really pretty lilac purple and I figured with green eyes might as well have a nice little pop of purple tonight okay so now I'm gonna go into the family of colors okay because when I say brown there are so many brown colors when I say green there's so many green colors okay and I'm gonna also show you a couple ways where you can get the most for your money when you're shopping for makeup and certain eye colors um, and then also how to put a couple looks together okay so if you're loving this video so far you can click on all the hearts let me know that you're here feel free to share this video there's also like a little person at the bottom with a plus sign where you can invite people to watch the video as well. And, um, you know, don't forget you can follow me on Facebook. I do live tutorials every day. Okay, so let's start with my favorite family and that is the purple and blue family. So having green eyes, I love, love, love purples and blues, okay? And there's two ways that you can put eyeshadow looks together, okay? We're gonna get real fancy here for a second and use big words, okay? Um, thank you, everybody, thank you. Did I miss what's best with blue is? Jen, we're gonna go over this a couple times, so just hang out and we're gonna you know, continue to go over what colors work best, okay? So um, I'm gonna use two big words on you. One is um, monochromatic and one is polychromatic, okay? So when you're doing a monochromatic, that means that you're staying within the same family and you're just using different shades and tones of those colors. If you wanna do something that's polychromatic, that's kind of really colorful, where you take different colors from different families and you put a look together, okay? So again, when it comes to picking eyeshadows, go with what you love. One of my favorite things to do is to put a look together where I match the clothes that I'm wearing, you know, and that would be a monochromatic look. So it's like, oh, I'm gonna wear a green shirt today. So I'm gonna wear different shades of green on my eyes and it's really gonna make my green eyes pop. One of the biggest compliments I get is when I'm wearing like a hunter green shirt because I have green eyes and it just really compliments that, okay? So um, so Patricia, for instance, just asked for baby blue. So you would probably be here in this family around this baby blue, okay? And you can always add white and black to these to lighten them and darken them. So when you come across, you're gonna be looking at those earthy tones and the golds, okay? Which I have the perfect color for you. So we have three different types of shadows. We have um, a pigment shadow, we have a splurred shadow, which is a cream, and then we also have um, palettes, okay, which is a pressed powder. So I'm gonna start with um, our cream shadows. We have two different textures when it comes to cream shadows. Um, we have one that is clay, which is a matte finish. Then we also have one that is more of a creamy cream, and this is a shimmer finish, okay? Another thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're doing your eyeshadow look is you wanna mix finishes, okay? So you don't want to wear all matte all the time because you can really fall flat. 
you can add a little bit of a shimmer or a little bit of a metallic in there so that you can totally have you know some dimension and some reflection when your eyes close and when you're indoors and outdoors okay so don't be afraid to mix your finishes as well so this is our matte cream shadow this is our splurge cream shadow okay so you have a matte finish you have a cream a cream finish I'm obsessed with these type of shadows because they dry to a powder finish. So you can put on the color and then it dries to a powder where you can blend it with a nice dry brush, okay? So this is the cream shadow brush. I highly recommend it for the cream shadows. Um, and I'm gonna show you the colors that we have within the purple family, okay? So your purples are gonna be gorgeous for green eyes um, and more pushing towards like your yellowish and your like really light, light golden browns, okay? So this is the color Happy. This is a nice, beautiful slate gray that has a little bit of a purple undertone to it, okay? Yes, you always want to make sure that you use your primer first, okay? This is the color Noble. This is a beautiful deep purple, okay? This is kind of like a like a plum purple. Really love that color. This is the color Majestic, okay? This is like a majestic purple, like a real royal purple. Love this one. This is also has a shimmer finish to it. And then for our cream shadows, we also can use the blues. So your blues and your purples are very close together, okay? So we have two different blues. I'm lying, we have three different blues. Okay, so we have Dainty. This is like a really soft periwinkle blue. And then we have Whimsical, which is a really vibrant, vibrant blue. This is seriously super, super fun. I love this color. Don't be afraid of this color. It's really, really fun. Um, a lot of people are asking me what I'm wearing on my lips tonight. I'm wearing Sentimental Splash Liquid Lipstick from my website. You can find my website up in the description box or if you um, were invited here by another unique presenter, you can ask them for their shopping link as well. Okay, so that is um, Whimsical. That is Dreamy. Okay, super, super pretty. Love these. And then one last purple that we have that I would consider like a neutral purple is Dainty, okay? This is a very, very light, light purple, again, in that shimmer finish, okay? So when you put that on, you let it set for about 30 seconds, and then you can use a nice dry brush and you can blend that out. So that's the color Dainty, okay? So we are in the purple and blue family for our shadows. So purple and blue would be perfect for your green, to yellow, to really golden brown, like a light, like doe eye type color. Uh, there aren't many people out there that have like a golden eye color, but if you did, purples and blues would be beautiful for that. So literally just going from the color wheel, you're just gonna go across from where your eye color is, and that's gonna be the family that you really wanna play into. Okay, so next we're gonna move over to pigment shadows, okay? I love, love, love our pigments. There's so much versatility with these. You can have nice, deep, rich tones. You can have um, really light, pale tones. You can use them dry and have a beautiful, light finish with just a little bit of shimmer or a nice matte. You can also um, add a primer to them, and I'm gonna show you why a primer is so important, and have really long-lasting wear with huge payoff, okay? So if you're just tuning in, uh, click on all the hearts. Let me know you're here. Thumbs up if you're snowed in tonight like I am. <laughs> My name's Kelly. I'm a black status presenter with Unique. So I am showing you all the colors that match your eye to your eye tone okay i get asked a lot like what would be the best colors for my eye color so i thought that i would put together like one big kind of class for everybody don't forget you can share this video you can also click the little drop down menu and that will save this video to your facebook um, if you share it it stays on your wall you can um, invite people to watch it you can follow me on facebook and i hope to have this video up on youtube when we're done with it. So our um, Moodstruck Mineral Pigments come in a cute little case like this. There is a ton of product in here. They come sealed with a little plastic piece right here. It has a little catcher there so you can tap out the product. That does remove if you'd like to. I like to remove it so that I have like more to work with. Um, but this is how they come. So I'm gonna show you the purples and blue families and then I'm gonna show you the importance of primer, okay? So before we get started, I'm gonna take that eye primer. So this is the Unique Eye Primer, which is from my website. If you need my website, it's up in the description box. 
I'm gonna take just a tiny little dot of that and I'm just gonna rub it in here and let that set while we go over some of the colors, okay? So right now we're in the purple family. Again, these are beautiful for greens, uh, for yellow and really gold and golden browns, okay? So this is the color Flirty, a really nice pale purple. You could pair that beautifully with Precocious. Precocious is like a blue and a purple at the same time. Beautiful colors. This right here is Regal. That's a nice deep, deep purple, okay? This right here is Glamorous, which is more of a red purple, okay? So for people who have really dark, dark green eyes, this would be a gorgeous color for you. So this is Glamorous. And then in our blue family, we have Playful, which is kind of a pale blue. We have Twitter Pated, which is a purpley blue, okay? And then we also have Heavenly, which is crazy fun blue. I love this color. You can actually make nail polishes with these, which is really cool. And then this is the color Awestruck, which is again, a purple undertone. So like I say, you don't have to take it so literal when you're talking about colors that you use because we say purple, right? So this has a purple undertone to it, but it's a blue shadow. And then we have purple like this, okay? So there's so many different colors in the rainbow. So you can really just kind of have fun and play with that. Okay, so now that our primer has had a second to set, I'm gonna take my deluxe brush. So this is available in the eye brush set um, with Unique. I'm gonna take, we'll do that color um, Regal. Actually, I think everybody said Glamorous. So I'll take the color Glamorous. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my brush, okay? I'm gonna just tap that into the cap so that I don't have a ton of fallout. Okay, and I'm going to show you why primer is so important. Okay, see that? So if you're putting on your shadow, okay, you can see how much deeper and darker the color is when you're using primer, okay? So you can see you can get a nice pale color there and you can get a much bigger payoff when it comes to using eye primer first okay so that's that color glamorous which is super gorgeous so I'm gonna just put away these purples and then I will let you guys pick next we can either go to the browns and the blacks in your earthy tones or we can move over to the greens and golds so totally up to you guys I will let you pick you can comment now and let me know what colors you want to go through next. And if you're just tuning in, we're going over all different types of shades and tones of eyeshadows so that you can choose which colors work best for your eye, uh, for your eye color. Yeah, the difference between the face with using a face and eye primer and not using it is totally different. Okay, sounds like everybody wants to do the earthy tones and the browns and blacks, so we'll totally do those next. Okay, so before we move on to those colors, your third choice for eyeshadows, <clears throat> okay, we're going to go to the greens and browns and golds next, okay? Okay, so one other choice that you have in that purple family is um, our palettes, okay? So this is a beautiful palette. This is palette number three. I love this palette. It's definitely one of my go-to palettes. It's kind of beat up because I use it so much. But this is where you're gonna get your purples and your pinks that are gonna go really beautiful with those green eyes, okay? So you have Splurge Shadow, which is cream. You have um, pigments, which are loose powders, and then you have pressed powders, which are in your palettes, okay? And don't forget, when you're shopping um, on my website or on any other Unique Presenters website, you can click on Sets and Collections, and that will actually save you a little bit of money. So you can do four pigments for a percentage off or three splurge shadows. And don't forget, have fun. Mix your finishes, okay? All right, so next we're going to move on to our greens and our golds and browns. I'm gonna do greens first because they're a little bit, um, it's a smaller collection. The earthy tones in the browns and blacks, there's a lot of them, okay? So we're gonna do green now, okay? So we're gonna be showing off green shadows, which means you're gonna come across here and your brown eyes are gonna be really, really enhanced using green colors, okay? If you have purple eyes, there are people out there that have like a violet tone, okay? 
that is going to be where these greens really fall into play, okay? So greens, golds, and browns, those are your earthy tones. And again, if you have brown eyes, you can pretty much wear all of these colors, okay? So let's start with our splurred shadows in the green family, okay? So we're in your earthy tone families. Where could I find the ingredients for primers? So if you go to my website, the website is in the description box um, of this video then you can click on any product that we have and there's an FAQ sheet there that is going to show you everything that is in our products, okay? So we are like the perfect balance between nature and science. We use natural ingredients, only the highest quality ingredients. We're mineral based when it comes to our eye products and uh, we don't test on animals, which is my favorite part about this. Okay, so let's talk about our splurred shadows. We have three splurred shadows in the color green. So we have the color Charming, which is your shimmer shade, okay? Thanks, Jackie. This is our shimmer shade, and then this is a Muse, which is a matte shade, okay? So this is like a really muted green in matte finish. I love this color. And then um, this is Charming, which has a beautiful shimmer to it. So it's kind of like a really pale shamrock green. Then we have the color Assertive, and oh my gosh, is this not so gorgeous? Look at this green. This is hunter green. It is so beautiful. If you have brown eyes, this and the color Tenacious, which is my favorite ever. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. So um, Assertive and Tenacious are seriously the most gorgeous combination of splurred shadows. Look at that together. So if you have brown eyes or green eyes, so if you had brown eyes, I would put this on the lid, this in the crease, and if you have green eyes, put this on the lid and put this in the crease, and it's like, bam so gorgeous okay so that's assertive so those are the three green splurred shadows that we have assertive is your hunter green okay the amused is your pale matte green okay and then we also have um oops wrong cap then we also have charming which is a really pale shimmery green okay so if you are just tuning in hello we're like real serious tonight. <laughs> Normally we have a lot more fun than this. Do you guys see that I shaved the side of my head? I shaved it. It's just gone. I came home yesterday and my husband's like, oh, so we shaved the side of our head, did we? And I was like, yes, we did. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, Welcome to Saturday Night Makeup Class. My name is Kelly Rose Sarno. I am a black status presenter with Unique. My website is in the description box. Normally, I just repeat my website over and over and over again for you, but I invited a bunch of my um, presenters to watch this video, both for product knowledge and two, so that they can share this knowledge with their customers as well, okay? So if you were invited here by another presenter, then go ahead and um, talk with them about the colors that you're loving. Don't forget to click on all the hearts and let me know that you're here. And then you can invite people to watch, you can share my video, and you can um, follow me on Facebook, okay? Matte versus shimmer. Would you always do a base of matte and crease shimmer? Cheryl, no. Um, and, you know, it's amazing how makeup changes over our, you know, over decades, right? So our makeup changes all the time and trends change all the time. So you never know when you can be a trendsetter um, and you don't always have to do what's popular. You know what I mean? So um, like today I do have a matte base on and a shimmer crease, but I just did the other day. What did I do? Oh, and I got a new matte, a new matte splurred shadow that I can't wait to use with Tenacious. I'll show you when we get there, okay? So um, thanks for tuning in, and here we go. We're going to continue on with these greens. If I can get the cap off, okay. So these are the green earthy tones with pigments, okay? So this is the color Empowered, which is another really bright green. So this is like almost a lime green. Then we have the color Dignified which is really beautiful. I know I keep saying they're beautiful, but they really are all beautiful. I just love makeup. <laughs> this is the color Crushed, which is a deeper, like, 
clover type green and then we have the color famous which is a beautiful green as well so this is more of a bright green so if you like to go with your lighter colors and not be so dramatic and dark then I would stick with like famous and you could do something like crushed in the crease which would be a beautiful shimmer matte combination okay so this is a shimmer I would put this on my lid and I would put this matte crushed in the crease okay and again these are for your monochromatic look so these are for your looks that are all the same color just different tones okay so we're gonna put these away and we're gonna move on to our palette with these tones and then we're gonna get into our browns and um, blacks okay so for our palettes with greens in it you can try palette number four okay so you have these gorgeous earthy tones of the browns and then you also have some blues and greens here okay and again you always get shimmer and matte and you always get like a metallic in there um super gorgeous this is one of my new favorite palettes i actually have the color arrogant in my brows right now so love 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 palette four okay so we did palette three palette four now we're gonna move over to our um like our earthy tones okay pigments are powder palettes are pressed powder um and then the splurge shadows are cream okay lots of other teaches totally not true um this is the makeup i'm talking about well thanks everybody for sharing too i feel like i really don't have a lot of room between my crease and eyelid. lid tabitha you very well might not um that's what we call a hooded lid where like your like crease and the top of your eye kind of like comes over and like closes out your lid if that's the case then what you want to do is you want to take your color and you want to go above your crease create your own crease okay so take that color and go right up over your lid and always work in the um, upward direction okay so we haven't gotten to yellow and gold yet but we will be getting to yellow and gold right now we're moving over to our earthy tones okay so over here is where your colors are going to match there so your earthy tones are going to look beautiful with both green and blues okay now don't forget that you can wear the same color as your eye as well so like I could wear green shadow all day long if you have blue you can wear blue if you wear the color of your eye it's obviously gonna make that pop okay so this is our brand new splurge shadow I just got it in the mail today I'm actually wearing it for my eyeliner I'm obsessed with splurge shadow for eyeliners I love it this is the color proud this is so chocolate this is like dark chocolate okay dark chocolate brown I love this color this is the color faithful which is like a mauvey brown so this actually has a little bit of a purple undertone to it okay so really beautiful yes this can be ordered um, so this is proud this is faithful both of these are matte splurred shadows okay and our splurred shadows are super versatile like right you can use splurred shadow for your eyebrows tonight i'm wearing it on my lid i'm also wearing it as an eyeliner okay so gorgeous colors okay are there any gray silver types colors yes louisa and we're going to be touching on some of those right now okay i tend to think that grays are more like in the neutral family and i have like a little neutral family group right here too where you can kind of use it like anywhere and everywhere okay so this is the color skeptical which is a unbelievable black shadow so this is a cream okay so gorgeous that shimmer in there is almost iridescent okay it's so beautiful you can use this for any eye, eye color okay I have baby blue eyes what color would make them pop so if you're in baby blues you want to be in this family okay so stick around and watch all these ones okay so I'm gonna start with the darker of the shades and we'll move up to a little bit of the lighter okay so this is the color corrupted which is a matte black so super black super matte okay then we have the color risque which is a little bit more of a shimmery charcoal okay thank you Alexis thank you then we have the color enamored okay enamored is a really dark brown that has a green undertone to it so this would be beautiful for green eyes then we have the color devious again a nice deep black this has a little bit of a shimmer to it as well is that dark brown in the kudos um, I'm gonna go over the kudos Kim the kudos doesn't have splurge in it but it does have a palette in it this is a beautiful gray silver 
I put this in this family because it's deeper than a neutral. So this is the color Feisty. Love this color. This is Feisty. Then we have the color Infatuated. So now we're going to move up to our brown family. Okay, Infatuated is a nice deep brown. <coughs> Excuse me. Daring is also a nice deep brown that has a really beautiful shimmer. I mean, look at that shimmer. It is so beautiful. I love it. 90 people have shared this video so far. Thank you so much for sharing. I have to cough. <coughs> How would you use black eyeshadow? Teresa, I was always so scared to use black eyeshadow. Like, what was the black one that is iridescent? He meant that is um, skeptical. I was always so scared to use black. And I would only ever use it in my crease or maybe I would use it as like an eyeliner. But I started to wear it on my lid and fell in love. But it does take practice. So when you're using black shadows, it definitely takes some practice. So just take your time and play with it a little bit. Chelsea, absolutely it would. Natalie, totally forgot my water bottle. I'm like sitting here like... <sighs> Okay, so <clears throat> again, if you're just tuning in, my name is Kelly Rose Sarno. I am a black status presenter with Unique. Tonight we're going over all of our eyeshadows and teaching you which ones complement which um, with your eye color. Okay, so we're literally getting real raw with it. We're going down to the basics and grabbing our color wheel here. Okay, so right now we are working on the earthy tone shadows, which are beautiful for blue and green eyes. Okay. So, uh, what color is this? This is Infatuated. Infatuated was actually a color that was like a special and they weren't gonna keep it and they kept it and I'm so glad that they did. These, um, these two right here are two colors that I probably use the most uh, when it comes to doing like a neutral earthy tone look. This is the color Adorable. This is the color Beautiful. This is a matte, this is a shimmer and they're like the same color, right? So this is matte and this is shimmer and they're almost the same color, okay? Which I love because sometimes when you're just going for like a really pretty neutral basic look, you can do just a little bit of a matte, just a little bit of a shimmer of the same color and get a beautiful, um, you know, even earthy neutral type look. Okay, then we have Irresistible. Again, another beautiful matte. This is kind of like a taupey brown. And then we also have confident. Look at that. Whoa. This is like a shimmery chocolate, like a dark chocolate. This is a very dark brown. I love this color. This is beautiful for um, eyeliner. So if you wanted to make an eyeliner out of a pigment, right? So we have this brush. This is from our eye. Um, all the brushes I'm showing you, you can actually get in the one set. So the eye brush set. Okay. So when you go to my website, the link is up in the comments. Um, you can, um, sorry, click on sets and collections and you can get like the whole eye set instead of just one brush and save yourself some money. So I love to take the liner side of the liner shader brush. I spray it with a little bit of rose water because rose water just acts a little bit better than water when it comes to doing like a liner. Then just take a little bit of what's in the cap here, get it on your brush, your nice damp brush, and then you get... A nice sharp line out of that okay let me pick a color that's really dark so you can see it in this lighting here we'll use the color devious perfect so again just spritz your brush a little bit you're gonna pick up some of that color just kind of work it in the cap here okay and then you can make a nice straight line using just pigments which is so awesome okay so you can make like your own eyeliner and I do the same thing with splurred shadow too. Everyone's saying go get water. I'm totally fine. Besides, if I went and got water, it would take like five minutes. So we're fine. We have like two more little groups to go through and then we are done. Okay, so if you're loving those, you can do palette number one or two. Okay, so palette number one is your traditional earthy tone. Okay, thanks Mandy. So these are your earthy tones. Uh, obviously my second favorite, this color Brassy is like legit the most beautiful color ever. I love this color. Uh, obviously it's very well loved. So this right here are your earthy tone palettes. So this is where you're getting seven colors in all different textures and finishes um, in one, okay? 
So there's that. And then you can also go a little bit cooler with your blacks and your deep browns and your grays. And this is palette number two, okay? Palette number two. All right, so next we're gonna move on to our golds and pinks, okay? Now I grouped golds and pinks together because I think that they're so beautiful together. Normally people would probably group golds with the brown family, but I love golds and I think golds should have like their own little family, okay? Golds are my jam, I love, I love golds, okay? So if you're just tuning in, feel free, click on all the hearts and let me know that you're here. Um, all of these products are available on my website. You can get um, my website up in the description box above. If you are invited here by another unique presenter, then you can shop with them. Um, it's really tonight is just about like learning what works best for you and to see like all of the options that we have I feel like our pigments are totally like the underdog <laughs> But I love these like I love pigments. They are so versatile. You can use them for so much Okay, so now we're gonna go into this pink and gold family Okay, so pinks and golds are beautiful with brown eyes and again, this is gonna be more towards the blue eye family Okay so if you have blue eyes, pay attention, okay? And if you have, what is the name of the hairspray from Prim? Jesse, it's the Hero 5. It's like the best ever. <coughs> Thanks for Paul. Did you go over brown eyes? So we are, brown eyes, you can pretty much be really versatile with brown eyes. Um, so we have touched on brown eyes. You wanna go with the green, purple family when you have brown eyes. But really when you have brown eyes, you can kind of, you know, you can kind of wear whatever you want. So don't forget to follow me on Facebook. This video will be on YouTube when we're done. You can also um, click on the share button and that helps me spread my business. I'm wearing Sentimental Liquid Lipstick from my website. The link is in the um, description box above. And this is like a really beautiful lilac, okay? I'm in love with the name. I know, what an awesome job that would be too, right? Okay, so again, we're gonna start with the splurge shadows, okay? So this is the color Hopeful, okay? So this is a frosty pink. Isn't that so beautiful? So this splurge shadow is actually different from all the other splurge shadows. This is a frost finish. This is not a shimmer, this is not a matte. This is a frost, okay? So you wanna use a little bit less of this product to get the desired effect out of that, okay? Love this color. This is part of our Defend Innocence collection. So you can see here, um, it's got purple on the top of it instead of white. So our Defend Innocence collection, there's three products from it. We have a lipstick, a liner, and this Hopeful Splurge Shadow. This is um, part of our initiative and our unique foundation. And that is um, a little haven in the middle of a valley in Utah for women who are survivors of childhood sexual abuse to go and start their journey of healing. So when you wear this color or when you wear the purposeful liner or the sitting pretty lipstick and you put it on social media, you use the hashtag start defending and that just kind of helps put a voice to our initiative so that people go and learn more about the unique foundation. So this is hopeful. It's really beautiful. Um, it's beautiful in different ways, and that's what I love so much about the color Hopeful, okay? Um, Stacy, yes you can. I'm actually wearing Hopeful, uh, sorry, I'm using Proud as a liner tonight, okay? Are the, yes, the Defend Innocents are all still available, okay? So let's move on to my three, this is like my trifecta, okay? So can you put Hopeful on your hand? Angela, sure, I'd love to. I'm just going to use my finger, don't judge. <laughs> so um, again you don't need a lot I like to pat this color on because this is that frosty texture not the shimmer texture okay and this is the color hopeful so it's a really pale frosty pink you can use this color to do like a little bit of highlighting so you could put something like that on the inner corner of your eyes here Okay, and that will give you like a really beautiful highlight on the inner corners. You can even highlight your cheekbones with this color. It's so versatile, it's so beautiful, and it has like an amazing meaning to it. So I love the color Hopeful. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on, this is my trifecta. Are you ready? Click on the hearts if you're ready. So I love this trio of colors. And like I said, 
this is the splurred shadows you can get um, at a discount under sets and collection so on my website which is in the box up front up top uh, you can order three splurred shadows okay and you get like a discount this is my trifecta this is like my I love this look it's stunning on every eye color and I'm gonna teach you the combinations of how to use them for your eye color okay so here we go pigments are loose powder yes I know you're doing eyes, but my daughter and I are pink and have trouble. You can just message me and I will show you. Um, I can help you color match, okay? So, thank you. It, it might be a mixture of the both, you know? I'm trying to hold three of these at a time and it's like nearly impossible. So, this is what I call like my cafe latte. Um, my pumpkin spice. My I'm, I'm just obsessed with these colors, okay? You can wear these colors for anything and everything, and every single person can wear these three colors, okay? So if you have blue eyes, you can wear Defiant on your lid, okay? Because we're looking, I wanna show you why. We're going back to the color wheel, okay? So you have blue, okay? So you have blue here, we're gonna go straight across, come down here, okay? This is where your reds are, your golds, your rose golds, okay? So if you have blue eyes, this is my number one pick for blue eyes, okay? Put this on blue eyes and it is like, bam. It is so amazing. This is a straight coppery rose gold. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This is tenacious. If you know me at all, you know my love is deep tenacious okay this is my number one out of every eye product that we have this is my number one favorite product I'm obsessed so defiant and tenacious okay so you can put defiant on your lid if you have blue eyes you can put um, tenacious in the crease and then you can take extravagant which is in that same family this is a real coppery color and you can use that to highlight okay you can put that to like blend in seriously so gorgeous I'm obsessed with these colors. If you have blue eyes, my number one pick for you for Splurge Shadow is the Defiant Splurge Shadow, okay? So these are my three favorite Splurge Shadows. That is the, we have two more Splurge Shadows to show you. I know this is like information overload, but don't worry because these will all be uh, on a playback so that you can come back and fast forward and find everything, okay? Don't think I've ever seen you use pigments. Karen, I don't give pigments enough love. You're absolutely right, um, and I really should work on that. So let's talk about our um, pigments in this color family, okay? So another amazing uh, combination of three that I love. So the, um, the pigments come in sets of singles or sets of four. Okay, so here's another beautiful combination. Number one favorite pigment would be the color Gorgeous. This is like an orangey, copper, shimmery. It's so beautiful. I love the color Gorgeous. This is my number one favorite pigment besides Curious, which we'll get to that and I'll explain why, okay? So here's a beautiful combination, same combination for blue eyes. This is Provoked, this is Giddy, and this is Gorgeous. Okay, provoked, giddy, gorgeous. Love these. And again, we're mixing our finishes. So you're getting matte and you're also getting shimmers. Okay. And again, these are all looks that are polychromatic, uh, monochromatic, meaning you're in the same family. Okay, so you're going to get a nice, neutral, beautiful look using all these with a nice polished finish. Um, and if you wanted to do something funky, then look at your color wheel again and go... You know, like if you wanted to make something cool, you know, something different, you could put that um, like a reddish pink color on your lid and then you could complement it over here in the green, blue, yellow family. Okay, so that's how you want to mix your colors to complement each other. This would be my number two favorite pigment. This is the color Heartbroken. So beautiful. Can you see that? Probably not. Look at this color. It's so pretty. It's like a brick shimmery red cranberry, <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I love that. What is your favorite palette for each eye color? Krista, we're gonna go over that at the very end, okay? This is the color Vulnerable, which is a nice matte pale pink. The color Sassy, which is a shimmery pale pink, okay? And then last but not least in the pink family, 
um, but I really like to call this more of a neutral color, which what we're going to transition into would be the color Sexy. Okay, so this is a really pretty highlighting color. It's like a really pale pink champagne, but this is more of a neutral color. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to move into our neutral colors. Neutral is um, something anybody and everyone can wear. Okay, so this, um, my husband loved my hair. Thank you. No, he loves it. We've been together for like almost 20 years, so my husband, I, I can't surprise him anymore. Trust me on that one. <laughs> so this is palette number five. This is the last palette that I haven't shown you yet, and this would be gorgeous for blue eyes as well because you have all of those pinks and cranberries. This right here is super, super amazing because these are all um, metallic shades. Okay, so these are like color shifting. So when you have them on and you close your eyes and you open them and you move, the colors are going to shift and they're going to reflect differently. Okay, but these are all shimmer, all matte. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to go into our neutral family. Two splurge shadows for me in the neutral family would be Victorious, which is a perfect nude. Okay, you do not get any more nude than that. Look, it's like literally the color of my hand. It's so beautiful. This is the color Elegant. So this is a really, really light champagne. Okay, Amanda, I would agree. <laughs> so these are beautiful neutral tones, matte and shimmer. Okay, so you can use these together. And then I'm going to show you the last of the pigments. And these are my neutral tones that you can use for anyone and anything. Okay, so this is the color Angelic. Okay, this is a really pretty shimmery yellow undertone neutral. Okay. You can use this again for highlighting as well. Okay, so you can like highlight with this color. Oof, hello gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So pretty, love angelic. Then we have Innocent, which is a matte, okay? This is kind of like a green undertone neutral, okay? Super beautiful, okay? Love this color, okay? And then, we have the color Curious, which I'm saving for last for a reason. I wanna show you one last color that I didn't really know where to put, but it's so beautiful. It's naive and it's a matte gray. Like it's so soft, it's so pretty. I feel like anybody could use this. Um, this would look really cool on like those gray eyes. It's really, really gorgeous, okay? Uh, Tanya, the last one that I showed is palette five. Um, and I, I would consider this a neutral, even though you could maybe put that in with the grays and blacks, but I love, love, love this one. Okay, and last but not least is my favorite pigment ever, okay? Like, prepare yourself for this, and if you don't own this particular pigment, you need to have this pigment, <laughs> okay? So if you are, um, sorry, Louisa, the last one that I showed that gray is called Naive, okay? So the last one that I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to kind of like wrap everything up, okay? Uh, this is the color Curious. If you watch me do my makeup, or if you watch any one of my makeup moguls, the girls on my team do their makeup, this is the color that we are all obsessed with. It is seriously the bomb.com. Like, you just need to have this in your life for so many reasons, because it's so beautiful, okay? Okay. So, this is the color Curious, okay? It is an iridescent white. It is so beautiful, okay? It literally has iridescent. Now, if you don't know what iridescent is, because I have found that a lot of people don't know what iridescent is, iridescent means <coughs> that it has all different color undertones to it. So, when it shines, you kind of get that pink, that blue, that purple uh, all shine through, okay? So, again, very color shifting, very iridescent, so beautiful. Curious is so amazing for your lid, for highlighting, for uh, putting it over your lips. Like we'll put it over our lipstick and it will like totally change your lips. Okay, like Curious, Curious Blur Shadow is just where it's at. So just know that you have to have this Blur Shadow. This is the one that I put on the inner corner of my eye all the time. Look at that. Oh my God. Like it's life. Okay. You know, like how all the kids are like, oh, it's on fleek. Oh, it's life. Oh, I'm dead. Like you just look at that. Look, it's like so 
beautiful. Okay, so curious is everything. I love that. Uh, so that is all of the pigments. Okay, so now I wanna go over the palettes one last time. And then I'm going to let you guys go because I think that we totally have had uh, quite the lesson tonight. Okay, so this is your color wheel. Again, just go to Google Images and type in color wheel. This will pop up so that you can refresh your memory. Okay, so take your eye color, go straight across, and that is like within those three right there is the family that you want to stay in. It doesn't mean that you have to have like that exact color. Okay, so you just want to kind of go in that family that it's in. Okay, so I'm going to go write down these palettes one more time. I'm going to show them to you so that you can um, see which ones you love and I'll tell you which ones I think work awesome. Okay, so this is palette number five. This is a beautiful color shifting shimmer metallic palette. Okay, this has your beautiful purples and cranberries and reds. Uh, you do have a gold and a really bright silver. Okay, so this would be beautiful for green eyes, purple eyes, uh, hazel. This would also be um, really good for, again, that golden brown. Okay, so the very, very light golden brown. Okay, palette number four is your earthy browns. Okay, so you're going to get your earthy browns. You have your blues. Uh, this is a really pale green. That's really pretty. Love this. It has the color Tender, which you can use for highlighting. So again, this would be beautiful for brown eyes. Okay, you can also wear this with green. Okay, so that's palette number four. Palette number three, my favorite palette. This is for your hazels, your browns, and your greens. Okay, this color Tickled, oh my gosh, I have to show you this color Tickled. It's like a, it's like a dusty pink. It's like a dusty rose. Oh my gosh. It's seriously so beautiful. I love this. Okay. If you have nearly black eyes, Tabitha, play it up with whatever you want to wear, girl, because that's a rare color to have and you should just wear whatever it is that you want. Anything would complement it. This palette would be beautiful for it. This is palette number three. Okay. Palette number two is your cool silvers and blacks. Okay. So this again is going to be great for blue eyes. Okay. Uh, you could definitely wear this with brown. I don't actually know. I would say palette two. If you have blue eyes, stick with palette two. I, yeah, if you're like more of a, a pale tone, skin tone, these would be really pretty on you too. Um, but I think that this is definitely a blue eyed, a blue eye palette. Then last but not least is palette number one. Okay. So palette number one is your brassy golds. Okay, this is beautiful for brown eyes, beautiful for green eyes, hazel eyes would be really pretty for this too. It, actually, this is a very versatile palette, okay? Pretty much anybody can wear palette number one. I really love palette number one. So that's that. And again, let me show you um, the eye brush set that we have. So always, it's a crime not to prime. Make sure that you have your primer, okay? Always, always put your primer on a very thin coat, let it completely dry, and then use your product over that. This is our eye brush set. The number one recommendation I can make for you is to get your cream splurred shadow brush. Um, so if you're looking into the splurred shadows, you want the cream shadow brush. Just trust me on that one. But we also have four other brushes in our eye brush set. They can be purchased individually or together as a set. So we have the liner shader brush that I showed you tonight. We have a deluxe brush that's great for blending and all over application. We have a crease brush. I love brushes. I love brushes. And this is my favorite crease brush ever in existence. I love it. So good. Uh, we also have an angled shadow brush that has a sponge on the other end and then the cream shadow brush. So if you missed any of this, you can watch this from the beginning. Click on all the hearts if you think that you walked away really learning something tonight. That was definitely um, my whole point. If you want to shop, my website is in the description box above. If you were introduced um, to this video by another presenter, you can contact them and they can walk you through how to pick colors for you and also uh, where to order. The cream shadow that comes in the kit, um, Jesse is extravagant, okay? See, extravagant, okay? 
Um, and so that's that. So again, my name is Kelly Rose Sarno. I am a black status presenter with Unique. I will be uploading this video onto YouTube, but you can save it in the top right drop down arrow and you can share it to your wall so that it stays on your wall forever. And don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook. I do live tutorials every single day. So uh, that's that. Have a happy Saturday. Stay warm, stay safe. Don't drive if you don't have to with the snowstorm out there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.